What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here for the very first episode on Crumbly Woods, which I'm going to be quickly renaming to Withering Woods. Our theme for this park is not really going to be too much different than what it kind of defaulted to. Uh, that's more of just a change in name alone, but everything in this park is old. Uh, and by that I mean this park, the objective, it even states a large park with well-designed but rather old rides. Replace the old rides or add new rides to make the park more popular. If you look at any ride under the finance tab, it shows you how much money that ride has made. This mean squeak has made 26 almost 27 grand wood chip wood chip here has made 54 grand since it's been opened and so unlike normal parks where i would go through and sort of rename and readjust prices on all my rides i'm still going to be adjusting the names but the prices i'm probably going to keep set i was playing around with this earlier and i left this at 250 and within 30 minutes of just kind of leaving my screen on this park, people refused to ride it, ride it because it was too expensive. It is a 250 admission price on a 821 excitement rating of a ride. Normally we could charge 820. They were unwilling to pay 250. So anything new we build because it is something new and not something old that's been in this park forever, despite us just having entered this park will still net us quite a bit more money than these older rides. So it's going to be very important that we build a lot of new stuff and not just rely on income from these old rides because we're not going to make very much. All these prices are set very low. But let's go ahead and start naming all of our rides. Again, we're not going to adjust the price, but I do want them to fit in in name at least. So for Crumbly Carousel, everything originated with a crumbly name, I'm pretty sure. Uh, crumbly Carousel is going to be just that. Crumbly Carousel. Sorry, I'm checking my list. And that's actually what I decided to leave that one as. So in reference to our old park name, it's going to be Crumbly Carousel. I think that actually, it sounds nice. The rest, Crumbly Wheel, that doesn't really fit so well. Uh, crazy Critters here. Crumbly. No, not crumb. Crummy. Crummy critters. There we go. Sorry, I need to figure out a better spot to leave this list. I keep having to crane my neck to see it, and it doesn't work out so well. Crumbly Mansion is now going to be Shabby Shack. This park is going to be fun in naming schemes alone. I'm having a lot of fun with all the alliteration and the, the terms. Uh, Whiplash is going to be Worn Whiplash. Yeah, just making sure I'm getting these right. Uh, we'll go ahead and adjust Mean Squeak next to... Man, I can't spell today. Squeaky Squeak. <laughs> squeaky as in it's squeaking because it's so old and squeak because... They're mouse cars, and maybe it's the squeak from the mouse. At least that's kind of the dual meaning I had in mind. Woodchip Woodchip, I think is an awful name for this ride. I get that it's a, you know, a synchronized with adjacent station style of ride, but I just think that sounds so bad. So we're gonna change this to wood chipped. Emphasis on the chipped portion of it. It's broken, it's chipped, it's wood chipped. I think that is a much better name. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to try for this park. It started out with only four handymen and only two mechanics, none of which have foot pads. I'm thinking I'm gonna do what I have advised against since the very beginning, and that is to not set foot pads and see how it works out. I figure if any park is gonna look bad at some point this is the one to do it on <laughs> if it does end up not working out and our pathways start looking disgusting 
I will go back through and change it. Probably not on camera. But I want to start out with not assigning foot pads and see if it works at all. Because I kind of was spoiled last park on Perilous Pier, not really having to assign anything for my mechanics, my handymen, my security guards. Not that I ever sign, assign walkways for my security guards. But it was kind of nice. I kind of set it and forget it. Or set it and forgot it, I guess. And I'm kind of missing that. So I'm going to try to see if this will work. And if it doesn't, I will fix it off camera. And we'll go back to doing it like we always have. But in the time being, this is what we're doing for now. 10 handymen, 10 mechanics, free to go wherever they want. Let's also hire... Let's go three security guards. And... Why not? We'll add a couple entertainers. What do we have? We got three options. So we'll do three entertainers. Did I hire one more than needed? No. Okay. And I forgot to change them. If I ever do entertainers, I like mixing them up. I don't want all pandas. Unless it fits the theme of my park. Alright. So there we go. I realize everything is being complained about not having been fixed yet. And that's fine because we just hired all those staff members. They have yet to really spread themselves out and get where they need to go. But enough of that. Let's start building something. It looks like we already have one of every shop or stall. We've got Burger Bar 1, Crumbly Balloons, Crumbly Chips, which I think are actually fries. So you can tell someone is a European. And I thought the chips just broke down. The fry stall, there's crumbly chips. We've got crumbly cola, which I think is our drink stall. Crumbly ices, which I guess is our ice cream stall. Crumbly information. <laughs> That's kind of disheartening to hear. Um, oh, dang it. All of our umbrellas are going to be red. Let's actually make them gray. Just kind of old and crumbly looking. And then... We actually all <laughs> crumbly toilets wanted to. That's kind of funny. Uh, where is our balloon stall? There we go. Crumbly balloons. I actually want to make these. Let's do a brown. Gray and brown. Really kind of old looking. We'll do gray and brown balloons. How they can still hold helium, I'm not sure. But we've got two bathrooms. One information kiosk. I think that'll be okay for now. We'll probably go back through and add another one later. Uh, an information kiosk, that is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds so ridiculous. And that looks hilarious. <laughs> I knew this could happen, but it's been a long time since I've seen it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we've already spent a month and a little over a month just doing that much stuff. So let's go ahead and start building some stuff. We need some brand new rides to start all this off. We've only made not even a grand since we started this part. And that is a prime example of how old all of our rides are. They're not going to be making us much money at all to start with. So that's something we'll need to fix as soon as possible. I'm seeing this spot right here, and this spot looks perfect. I'm actually going to run the entrance and exit underground. I think that could look kind of cool. So let's get doing that. Nope, get out of my way, tree. Shoot, tree. Don't bother me. All right. We need to lower the ground here. One, two, and two, one. And then again, we're going to come out. Let's do on either side of this. There's our information kiosk, actually. Just found it. All right, and that'll need to get rid of these trees. And there we go. That should work. I shouldn't have to modify any more land. Okay. Uh, and that's right there. There we go. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for themes you want to see, I've said it plenty of times before, but normally I realize this theme isn't the most 
inspirational theme I've ever done. Um, I kind of didn't have a ton of time to plan this theme, so that's why it's slightly... I don't want to say lackluster. I think it's going to be cool. Uh, I'm still excited for it. I think I've got some some pretty cool names in mind for rides. But again, it's pretty much going to be just that. Theming in name alone. I will do what I can where I can as far as decor goes. But that might not consist of too much. So we might just be left with the name and the name alone. I am... My goal for this park is to combat the the age of all of our old rides by building lots of new rides and having them last a while. Uh, it's a three-year park, so that's really no different than normal. As far as, you know, our average park length, most are three years. Some are four, some are two, but average is usually three. Uh, so I want to up the swings, the rotations, the number of laps, the whatever, to a pretty good amount, just to prolong the viability of these rides and for how long and to increase the amount of time that they can make us money because we need all that we can get that's already cost me a grand to do <laughs> just the land and hiring or actually it's probably staff wages right now that are costing me minimum funding absolutely no maximum funding no scenery theming and other than that we'll keep everything in a three-year park, there's enough time to actually make use of ride improvements. In a two-year, not really. Okay, Swinging Ship 1. It's going to be Creaky Cruiser. Cruiser, I wanted to do something with a, a boat. But, actually... Broken boat. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes... I can spend forever in a day planning a ride and a name for the ride, but sometimes the, the inspiration for it doesn't come to me until I actually record, which is kind of the case right now. Um, I, w I don't want to do very vibrant colors in this park. Uh, so if I do like a blue ride or something, it's not going to be that bright blue. It's going to be a lighter, more kind of aged blue if that makes sense because I don't want this park to look like it's brand new I want it to look like it's been around for quite a while and I actually really like that color combination I don't know if I've ever done that on a swinging ship before I know I've done it plenty on uh, let me try to find that same color I know I've done it plenty on nope that's not what I wanted on water slides I think that's actually the default color color combination at least that kind of turquoise and that darker red or a fighter red whatever you want to call it that red i think that looks nice and kind of cool i like it and if this is anything like our swinging ship on atlantic oasis this thing will be full very soon and will stay full until the park ends which is crazy but look at this already no one is riding wood chipper or wood chipped because it's too expensive and it's a fraction of what it should cost so we're gonna we're gonna leave these rides here just because I don't really want to demolish them I think that's going to be very wasteful but we'll go ahead and drop the price all the way down to a dollar just to increase the amount of time until I have to modify it again but people are riding it at a dollar so we'll leave it there for now I don't think we got through to naming everything, did we? Crumbly Wheel. No, we certainly did not. Crumbly Wheel is, according to my list, which I am still checking because I didn't do this well at all, Frail is Wheel. So Frail, Ferris, Frailis Wheel? <laughs> oh, it's bad. Don't I know it. Oh, and sweet, we just got scrambled eggs as well. Okay, we'll build us some of these. Not some of these. One of these. Uh, where can this go? Again, this is another kind of hilly park. Lots of space. Not always the easiest to find, said space. I think this spot looks good, though. Uh, we could very easily extend our park back in this direction, off this tile. Because there's quite a bit of space back here. And we might just run our lines down to the main path already. 
but we also might expand it out. The option is there, and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet, so that's why I'm saying that. All right, we'll do the entrance over here, exit there. And I kind of miss having a, a custom, no, we'll do it there. Uh, a fresh park to start out in. I think we've been sort of spoiled in that all the parks as of late have been, or not all the parks, the past few parks I've done have been from scratch. I got to choose what kind of path I did. I got to choose where I put the paths. I got to choose the support structure, the line color. This one's already kind of set and it's a lot of work and it's a lot of expensive work to go back through and change all those things. So I'm just not gonna. <laughs> simple fix. All right, Scrambled Eggs 1. It's a very simple name, very easy to come up with. Rotten Eggs. Ooh, love it. Gentle Style, for some reason, I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I thought it said Chen, C-H-E-N. I was like, oh, this has unique music that I've never heard of. Why didn't I play that before? But no, I'm just, I'm crazy. <laughs> All right, 242 on this one. All right, and we're in May, March, April, May. All right, we need to get building a coaster here soon. I know I need to add one of those. That actually kind of looks good. Green and yellow. And it's like the green is like the mold on the rotting eggs and the yellow is the, the egg portion. I like it. Rotten eggs. Disgusting, but done. <laughs> All right, so this park already had a lot of benches and trash cans throughout, but not enough in my opinion. There's some spots that are lacking, so I will be going back through and adding some here and there just as I see fit. Because I don't think they did the greatest job with all that. I like this right here though. You can see it turn and go underground instead of just going straight in. It adds a little bit more you can kind of tell where the path leads, which is nice. Um, I'm just now realizing we never really showed off our rides. So we'll do that real quick. This is wood chipped. We figured out last episode, it took us a little bit to do, but that they are actually, it's actually one ride. It just has two station platforms. So you start at one, you end at the other. And then when that train goes again, it starts at that other one and ends up at the original one. Kind of a cool design. You can actually use roller coasters as transport rides when it comes to that. I might actually, I will definitely be doing that at some point because it's something I'd like to show off, not show off, but show that it can be done. All right, that is wood chipped. Let's go ahead and watch Squeaky Squeak. This one is actually really well designed. They do all their turns at a low velocity. It goes up here, does all its turns at a low velocity, does a dip, goes back up, then does its turns. It's very well designed. And it actually has very good stats too. And it goes back through a tunnel at the end. Pretty quick ride. But again, this is 679 and we're only charging $2. People are still riding it, so that's good but people aren't gonna wanna pay that much for very long. And then the worn whiplash, which we looked at last time, is such a cool design. I like it a lot. It's very simple, very easy, but it's just so cool looking. I like it. Okay, enough of that. That is pretty much all our rides. Uh, we also have crumbly critters over here, which I'm not gonna show you because it's it's a car ride. It's not exciting. If you want to go back through the video and try to follow your finger through the route, see where it goes, feel free. But I'm not going to follow one car all the way through because that would take like five minutes to do. And I'm not doing that. <laughs> but all right, let's build a coaster. We need to add some excitement and some money making to this park. And if you've watched any of my episodes before, and you hear the words money making, you know what we're doing. <laughs> All okay, where's a good spot for this? I actually wanna make this a little bit different than what we've done before. And in order to do that, I need a long area and I think I just found it. 
Oh yeah, we just found it. Okay, this is gonna be really cool. Okay, so we have that tile, it goes over one. So we can actually start it on the back here. Actually, no we can't. All right, so this is going to run really far. <laughs> Like, really far. <laughs> We're actually going to back this off by two. And so now that's a station length of six. And this is going to be nuts. I'm excited for it. All right, so we'll do this kind of just hugging the hillside, which I think looks kind of cool. And we're actually going to take a note out of uh, Warren Whiplash's book in that it actually used a slight boost coming out of the station just to give it a little bit of excitement from the get-go. If that were just to release like normal, it would start so slow and so boring. And also I think you need to have it as powered launch mode for it to really register that it's doing that and for it to work and not just count it as an incomplete circuit, which otherwise I think it would. Steel corkscrew coaster, we got a half loop. That's cool. All right. So I mentioned this is going to be cool, and I plan on doing that. Or not necessarily cool, but I think it'll be cool. But it's going to be just very long and very, hopefully, fast. I don't want this to be too nuts. Uh, as far as just doing a ton of loops and all that crazy stuff goes. So I want this to go... Pretty much all the way to the end here. I want to do one more dip down if I can. Which I think I can get away with just fine. Oh, our park actually comes in one more. That's news to me. Okay, we can make this work. Let's do one more loop to the left here. Instead of an S-bend to the left. Because that would be incredibly intense. <laughs> uh, and let's go up. Back down. And then we're going to go, actually, that's probably not going to work like that. This will have to be a little bit shorter than I wanted. Not enough cash. <laughs> okay, I checked my loan before we started, and we can take out up to 15000 So that's one of our remaining 10000 now remaining 9000 Okay, so that puts us back up at eighteen. I don't think that's going to be enough can i buy land if i can buy one more tile anything nope okay that's fine easy work around turn it and go up one right there we'll do two just to play it safe okay that is a very long shuttle loop but i think it looks pretty cool oh and one thing we can actually do with the line here i'm just now seeing this this will be cool all right, we'll run the exit around the back side. Uh, let me run that first, just because it's going to be the more difficult of the two, just with all the trees that are in our way. We'll get rid of that. All right, and this is actually where our park will end up extending out once we do that later. Not sure when we'll do that, but we'll probably run it back through the woods here. And then probably connect back up over here and we can do another ride here and then another one on the back side. Or maybe just one massive one depending on how much money we end up getting. All right, so this is going to go underneath this and then back up right there. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I'm seeing it now and I'm liking it, so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> All right, so that needs to go this direction to be over just the one tile. Actually, yeah, it needs to go over just the one. Uh, we'll actually take out a second grand here because waiting for money so I can build a line is not something I like doing. If it's to build a roller coaster, that's a different story, but it's not the case right now. So I'm not gonna wait there for five minutes to just build a line. <laughs> not very exciting stuff to watch. Nor is it worthwhile being like, you know, you get a roller coaster finished if you wait for a, a track part. You get a walkway finished if you wait for money to build footpath, which to me is not as exciting. Okay, this is going to be, uh, we named one Whiplash, or the other uh, sort of 
shuttle loop design in our park is Whiplash. Let's name this one Rickety Runway. Actually, Rickety Runaway. <laughs> I wanted to do Runway because it's one straight shot, kind of like a runway, but it's also going to be going very fast to the opposite edge of the park, so it's also kind of running away. So you can pronounce it runway if you want, not really put much emphasis on the A, and you can name it rickety runway or rickety run away. I don't care. Do what you want. <laughs> Power launch mode. Launch speed at 31. Let's try... I'm going to try 22. I think that's what Whiplash is set on. I just want to yeah, we'll try 22 to start using that as our example and see if this works. It could be a little much or not enough. Actually, probably not enough now that I'm looking at it. Yep, not enough. Okay. I will up that one, two, three ticks. So by nine miles an hour, we'll see if that clears it this time. Easy on the first one. It needs to barely make it over the second. <laughs> so we'll add two more. That's five uh, five miles an hour more. Actually, only four. 29 to 33. I can math. I just wasn't really paying attention. Barely makes it over that one. Clears that with ease. I don't like that, how slow that is. We'll up that a little bit more and keep that testing while we paint it because that should do the trick. And it's a brand new ride, so people will actually want to ride it, which is nice, unlike pretty much everything else that's in existence in this park currently. <laughs> it's going to get very underwhelming very quick. Okay, I love those smooth little up and down loops, or not loops, crests. They just look so nice. Okay, Rickety Runaway is successful. Let's hope. We will see here in just a sec. Do I need to test it again? I need to test it again. I'll do that. You got zero people on the ride. That was just a handyman. <laughs> and please be good. Oh, sweet. Excitement of 5.9. That is just above what seems to be average for our shuttle loop style rides. But that's going to be a great source of revenue. And because I love my lines, it will actually give us somewhat of a, yeah, somewhat of a line because of how long the ride is, which is always nice in my book. All right, let's make this look nice. I'm just doing the wooden style because that is what was already here on most of our park that has exposed land. So I'm just kind of sticking with that theme just to be consistent. Again, had I started this park from scratch on my own, I could have chosen whatever I wanted. But since it's an existing park that I'm trying to fit into, I try to fit into it. Crazy, right? Okay, I think we're good on this. We need a paint job for Rickety Runaway. This is actually a lot more difficult than I remember it being. <laughs> my last two parks, I've kind of had a color scheme to go along with my park, and it's made it very easy. But I did say I didn't want to do bright, vibrant colors, so let's try doing some colors that sort of blend in with the scenery. Nothing crazy. It's a steel coaster, so I want the supports and everything to kind of match that. That actually just looks ugly. Let's do white. There we go. That's a little bit better. And then on this, we'll do... Does that same green look good? I kind of want to do a different color train. What does yellow look like? I like it. And our carousel is about to take off again. Luckily, this guy's much closer than last time. Aren't you so glad they didn't hire me to do the voices, or not the voices, the music, via mouth noises for all the rides? 
I sure am. That would be so awful. All right, guys. I know we didn't do too much in this episode, but I think that's where I'm going to end it. I, If you can't tell, today is, I've been a little off today. It was a interesting day at work. I've just been in kind of a, a funk all day. It's getting cold outside. It's, it's Halloween, and I don't have plans, which is sad. It's Halloween the day I'm recording this. It'll be going up the day after Halloween. I don't have plans because I got work early in the morning. It's just a lot of things, but I will be in a better mood tomorrow, I promise. And I will be much more my usual self in that episode, I can guarantee it. But okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're looking forward to Crumble... No, nope, not Crumbly Park. Withering Woods. If I can find my entrance here. Withering Woods. It's going to be cool. We've got a lot of room for coasters. And so if I have the money, I'm going to try to really put an emphasis on coasters in this park. I don't do... I'd like to do more coasters than I do. Let's just leave it at that. But all right, guys. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're excited. I will see you in the next episode, which is tomorrow. <laughs> and until then, as always, take care.